Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ziki and for those of you who are new to our channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss on the videos that I give to you every day. So today I just want to make a comment about an article that I came across whereby people were suggesting that people traveling from China and Asia should be put into quarantine before they can join their families. I want to agree with this to a certain extent. Reason being, we all know and we have heard that this virus can be in your body between 1 to 14 days without showing any symptoms in your body. So, which means if one has the virus, they can travel from China to Zimbabwe without showing any signs. They can be checked for their temperatures, but they will still be normal until after a certain time that the virus will start to manifest. So, that period is the period that is very dangerous. And so, this is why I agree with this observation. I know and I understand that it's very hard for you to travel from China to Zimbabwe and then you are not able to see your family right away. It's so difficult, but sometimes, you know, there are some sacrifices that we need to do for our families, for our communities. You know, observation is okay so that we don't infect the people we love, okay? Because if we say, no, I don't want after I get to, the, to Zimbabwe, I just want to be with my family, that's all I need. Yes, it's okay for you to be with your family, but also how, how much do you love your family? We are living in hard times. It's not that people are be happy to put you in isolation or people will be happy to say oh we're gonna be observing you like this no no one is happy about it but they're just doing it because they want to protect people even the people you love so for me to a certain extent i agree with this thing of trying to isolate people who are traveling in from china and from asia and observe them to serve to for several days until they can be sure that if they are put into the community the communities are safe it might interest you to know that to date, more than 132 people have died and 6,080 people confirmed to be infected with the virus, with 9,200 plus being suspected of being infected with the virus. So it's not something that we're just talking about and joking about. And these numbers, they're just in a period of space of days, days, days. These numbers are getting higher and higher every day. So this thing is not something to be to play around with or something to joke about. We need to be vigorous. We need to protect ourselves. And I want to make a point to all those who are in China right now, guys, Let's try to maintain what we are being taught. Let's keep ourselves away from people. Let's isolate ourselves. Let's stay indoors. It's, it's only, it's hard. It's, it has been so hard to be on one place, in one place, you know, not moving around or anything. But let's try to do this, guys. It's for our own good and our family's good. This is your girl, Zikin.